We are making falafel. What are we gonna do? We're gonna break down to three steps. The first step is we're gonna take the fresh parsley, we're gonna chop it. We're gonna take the fresh garlic, two fresh onions. We're gonna put it in the blender and blend it together with the herbs and spices. We are chopping the fresh parsley. It doesn't have to be fine chopped because we're gonna put it inside the food process. So we have about two and a half cups of fresh parsley and we have five cloves of garlic. We have the fresh garlic. We're just gonna put it inside. Okay. So we are chopping the onions in squares. So it's half onion, it's two, four, six, six pieces. Just gonna put it right in the food process. Two teaspoons of coriander. One. Coriander has a really good smell. That's the secret in the falafa. Two teaspoons of cumin. Two teaspoons of salt. One teaspoon of black pepper. Two teaspoons of paprika. Two tablespoons of dry uh, cilantro. We have a parsley, a onions, a garlic, and all our herbs and spices. The only thing we're gonna do right now, just get it a blend. We did not wash the, the food process. In the same food process, we're just gonna add the chickpeas and we're gonna blend it. We're gonna blend the chickpeas together with the uh, lemon juice and the olive oil. We are adding four tablespoons of lemon juice, two tablespoons of olive oil, and now we're gonna mix the chickpeas. When we blend the chickpeas, we want the chickpeas to be a little rough. It should not be smooth because when you make falafa, you want the chickpeas to be a little bigger. So the chickpeas, they're done. You see, if you look at it, they're a little chunky. And that's what you want from the falafa. Now we're going to add our vegetables and our herbs. We mix it. The only thing we need to add is the tahini. Well, we are adding four tablespoons of tahini. It's ground sesame seed. We don't use any baking soda and we're not using any flour or any eggs. That's the reason why we're adding the tahini. So some of this falafel we're gonna bake it and some of the falafel we're gonna cook in the air fryer. Time to give it a final mix. You want to get everything mixed together, so that way every bite you take, you will taste the different spices and herbs. So what we're going to do now, we're going to cover it with plastic, and we're going to put inside the refrigerator for an hour. We are ready to bake the falafel, so what I'm doing, I have a brush with olive oil. I'm going to brush the tray. We preheated the oven 425. We're not making bowls. We try to make like, we make this falafel like a little burgers, like little sliders. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put uh, one fourth of a cup. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna scoop it out. So this is much better. Scoop it out, we'll make it like a little pancake. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Just brush the falafel on the top with a little bit of olive oil, very little, so that way you get a nice uh, brown color on the top and on the bottom. We have the oven preheated for 25. We're going to put the falafel in for 15 minutes. 
Right. I am I am excited to use an air fryer to cook the falafel. I never done it before, so it would be nice to see how it comes out. But look, anything you use to use less oil, I'm all for it. So what we do? And I have a brush. I'm gonna brush the bottom of the air fryer with a little bit of olive oil. Another thing you can do, you can use a spray, uh, a spray. Okay. All right, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight falafas. We are gonna put a little more olive oil on the top with a brush, or you can use a spray with vegetable oil. We really put in very little olive oil. The temperature is 350, and we're gonna cook him for eight minutes. We're gonna take him out, flip him, and cook him for and cook him for another six minutes. It's been eight minutes. We have a falafel in the air fryer. Wow, look at the falafel. I really like how they're looking. We're gonna flip them. Be gentle with them. And then we need to cook them for six more minutes. So we're gonna brush them a little bit more with olive oil on the top, just a bit. Very little, just a, a slightly brush. And we're gonna put them back in an air fryer for eight minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Wow, that's the baked falafel. What I would like to do, I will flip him and put him back in the oven for five more minutes. The color is perfect. Love the color, that's not a fried falafel, that's baked. Three minutes. It's been three minutes, so all together we cooked the uh, baked falafel for 18 minutes. 15 minutes on one side, we flipped it, and we cooked it for another three minutes. The falafel looks beautiful. It has the crispiness, and I cannot wait to eat it. What do you think? <laughs> it's been eight minutes. Wow. Look at the falafel now. No deep fry, air fry. So what we did, we made falafel, mm -hmm. and uh, we made some falafel, we baked it, okay. and we made some falafel in an air fryer. Sounds good. So this is the air fryer falafel. Look how crispy it is. So let me give you, and this is the baked falafel, okay, and they look both the look amazing. They look they look fantastic. Again, I like that they're not fried, deep fried. I remember going to the city and having falafel bowls and they're just these deep fried bowls. They're tasty, but there's always in the back of your mind, it's deep fried. And I don't need that. I mean it's a lot of grease, especially when you're cooking you have the deep fry open all day and you're cooking stuff in 300, 375. You're killing all the nutrition. Yeah. But if you look at this, it's no oil, you know, and the no, falafel really made dry. out of chickpea. And this is the first time I've tried the falafel in air fryer. Really? Yeah. It's delicious. You can taste, you can taste the chickpeas, of course. You can taste the lemon juice, slight hint of lemon juice, which just brings out the flavor of the chickpeas. And I like, you know, the falafel, the, what, it has a nice aroma from the coriander. Not many That's, people use it. Mm -hmm but it's a really good uh, spice.